Chili. Ah, there you are. <laughs> right there. Ah, I know him. Right here. <laughs> I'm on. I'm, I was going to say Magdalene. I'm not on Magdalene Street. I'm not. I'm on St. Benedict Street. I am. So good day. And welcome to Easter Bank Holiday Weekend. <laughs> All right, it is Easter. Right, it, it is. is Easter. Look, and today's Friday, right? And it's Ramadan. It's, it's Ramadan as well. Oh, that's good. Okay, it's Ramadan as well and Easter. So if you're on Ramadan, don't forget to sneak your chocolate upstairs so you've got something to eat tonight when you should be fasting. Does anybody fast on Ramadan anymore? <laughs> I don't think so. No. I know a lot of people that do Ramadan. But today, I am right outside Tanya Goddard's art studio, who is a friend of mine. And if you know how much I like the Cheshire Cat, Tanya is a sculptress who makes wonderful, wonderful Alice in Wonderland sculptures along with her amazing Snow Queen Russian sculptures as well. And this has been done in a very fine white clay. And I, I can't tell you what it is because I've forgotten, but this is Tanya's studio, her shop, her gallery, and I, I am going in. Now, Tanya's husband is just having a cigarette outside, so he has allowed me to come in and have a film so I can show you her artwork, which is, well, it, it's, when I first met Tanya a few years ago, her artwork was mainly these Russian dolls, these Russian-type families, and um, again, these are very prominent very Russian. And because I've had a lot of Russian acquaintance in my time in Thailand, I've, I, I see uh, how Russian art really is displayed. Now, sorry about the flickering. We do also have another artist in here who do these paintings. Uh, so I just want to show you the gallery because unfortunately Tanya is away. But if you've never come in to this gallery, this art studio, it's well worth a look because uh, the I just, I find it really, really cool. And I love how she's used all these old tables to display her artwork. And this is her little studio. She's working at home today because it's really cold. Now that's really cool because I recognise. <laughs> oh man, walking into Tanya's studio where she has gone a little bit steampunky of late. Um, this is really cool because before I left to do my journey, I actually, uh, like I say, I'm, bit of an artist myself, I actually sold Tanya quite a lot of my glass wares, of which I used to do my butterfly taxidermy in. And it's just seeing how Tanya's been using them. These oak things, these were all, ah, man, and all these with the bases. I can see where Tanya has carried on uh, using my idea. These things, that's really cool in the studio. There's some wicked artwork and she also took this 1970s vase from me as well <laughs> just really cool masses of stuff i used to have and it's nice to see oh and my two horses oh man is there two horses there they're mark's horses the company mark's um johnny west horses uh, so i don't know what tanya's going to do with them but it's nice to see that eventually they'll be used for something and these are still oh man under these are quite new. Look at them. They're Brillo pads from washing up. Um, oh, man, this is new as well. I just love where Tanya's mind is at and all the stuff that she uses. Oh, man. It's beautiful. So there you go. There's a secret little view, vision, into the studio right here. Oh, man. So I am. I've got a few things, a few places I want to go. I'm going to be in Norwich. And then, as you see, proper steampunk artwork um, and I've, I've been Tanya's photographer uh, before you may have seen some of my photographs where I photographed these and um, turned them in to bits of artwork of their own right I like this one I think they're awesome they're just something totally different oh, and the light's not catching that right right so I'm off up the road um, to go and meet my mate, he should be doing a bit of busking. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> no, that's not working. <laughs> oh, buddy. This is Sue. Who are you? Pat, you all right? Yes, you good? Ha <laughs> ha Wherever I go, I always know someone. Oh, we, have, we have Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Saul on the, on the video. Sue from Mind the Gap. We are Mind the Gap. Yeah, we nice are. To see you. And what are you all about, Sue? So we're, we're all about helping uh, people with mental health issues through music. And people can donate directly can to donate you. People can donate directly to us. Our website is mindthegapmusicgroup.org.uk. It's brilliant. And, and you... they can buy a lovely t-shirt as well. You can, you can, which, which is really good. I saw that was yesterday. Music is medicine. You can. And everybody here is obviously putting in to form this band to come out and enjoy themselves and have a good time and then entertain everybody out here who will be spending all their money in the antique centre, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Okay, wicked. Oh, okay. Well, that was good. Sweet. Next song. Quick, darling, let's have the next song. Next I'll, I'll go and I think I need a new harmonica. Make me smile. What? You all right? Come up and see me, make me smile. What's the next song? It is. Cool. Good intro. Oh, well, I've got a shaker. Shaker maker. Yeah, this one will make you smile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wicked. Well, I hope, how are you, buddy? You all right on the, on the drum? You good? Yeah, good, 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 darling. Awesome. Right, awesome. But I'll try and try and not mess things up. As it's always been. <laughs> that is really cool. We are not 
We thought that there was a piece of style of things in past. I've got a card machine. So there's no excuses. Oh, you got a card machine? I have got a card machine. How <laughs> wicked. That's what, these, that's what buskers do these days. That is new enterprise. Down, down with the tech. <laughs> buskers are gloves, sure, I like it. We're going to play about four more and then we'll kind of come round and uh, have the issue. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Outside Norwich Market. Jesus died for you and he can make your life better. What? Jesus loves you, so happy Easter. Cheers, buddy. And yourselves. All the best. Let, is, is it, Easter is the day Jesus rose from the... Well, it's kind of um, Easter, yes. Easter Sunday is the best day. That's when he yeah, rose so on the Sunday. Man. And because he rose again, that means you yes. rise again. You yes. Believe in him. And the gospel is yes. Jesus died for you. He said. Yes. And if you cry out to him and say, Jesus, forgive me, change my life, he makes you brand new. We've got people here. I'm brand new every day, buddy. He said, free, change, yes. forgiven. Are you forgiven, my brother? I, 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 I believe I am. See, we've all done bad things, and the remedy for sin. Is yes. the blood of Jesus. Uh, yes. That's why that's the Easter message. Why he came. It, it is, but it is when he resurrected, he rose. Absolutely, it's man. brilliant, mate. That's what I needed to know. And yourself. You guys have a great day. Cheers. Hello, Cheers. So there you go. Don't forget what Easter is all about. Right? <laughs> now there is. You're going to love this. You are. You're going to love this. That's why I stopped because I want to tell you the story about Easter. You know, there is a missing chapter from the Bible. Of course, there was one person who saw the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It was the same person who was at his feet when he died upon the cross. It is also the person sitting to his left in the painting by Leonardo. So who is it? DiCaprio? Da Vinci? From Florence, who painted the Last Supper and sitting to his left. It's that same person. Who is that person? That person is his wife, Mary Magdalene, who was betrayed in the Bible as being a prostitute because Jesus, being godlike, had to be single. But in that missing chapter of the Bible, we know and understand that Mary Magdalene was Jesus's good wife. Now here's a guy. <laughs> now here's a guy. That's John O'Shea, that is. <laughs> I used to be in the kids' zone with him many, many years ago. <laughs> how, how the bad have turned to? Face <laughs> wicked. <laughs> what we got? <laughs> you alright? The jewellery collection. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Hayes, sorry, I'll come back, <laughs> I forgot his real name, he's alright, the free quarant, how are you buddy, it's not your, is it? it's Ramadan as well isn't it, you could, yeah, yeah, good, 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 okay, Sean, Sean, Sean. Sean. Huh? Sirad. Sirad. So you're, so you're videoing his... Uh, oh, everything. No, I'm, I'm just making um, a, a, vlog. a vlog about Norwich doing uh, doing this Easter holidays. Yeah. But there's little bits of all, all sorts of like what 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 is really going on right now. Ramadan and Easter. Oh, I wish you all the best. Cheers, buddy. Have a good day. It is a good time of celebration. And that, but I, I, I hope you like that my little story. Right now, I've not done any research. <laughs> I made that up after I worked some television. I did. And when I'm going to Florence, Leonardo, no, it weren't Da Vinci. Who's the artist who painted, oh man, The Last Supper? Oh man, what else did he paint? Oh, that woman, 
<laughs> he painted all some of the best artwork, but each and every piece of his artwork has a hidden secret within it. And by the time I get to the end of this vlog, I remember the guy's name. Oh, there's no busker here, today. Eh? Where's the busker? It's just loads of people, look. They're all that way. Yeah, I know, but there's usually one here, darling. I was looking for a hat trick of buskers. There was a bagpipe, but you missed it. I missed the bagpipe, all right, no worries. Got any cash left? Any cash? Any charis left? Any charis? Yeah. You've been watching my vlogs. Yeah. I've, I've done all my charis. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> my Indian vlogs. Love the charis. <laughs> right. <laughs> now I'm going back. One of my John O'Shea, that's his name. Um, Johnny Hayes, he's now called John O'Shea. It is. And he does um <coughs> He does his reggae type scarf, busking. He also plays in a band called the Moochers. That's it. Brain is coming back. Now all I've got to do is suss out or remember who that artist is. So who is John? Getting everyone in a good mood. It's Easter. All the best, buddy. Oh, man. Now, I have done a vlog about Norwich Market, I think. It's in the Doomsday Book. The Doomsday Book was the first audit of Great Britain. And Norwich is proud to have the castle, the market, and the cathedral all in the Doomsday Book. They do. Where's my old mate? Alex on the, f on the market there. <laughs> the old flowers. He's been selling flowers for years. He has. And his mother before him, I think. You having a good day, mate? You all right? I wish you all the best. Good weekend for you, isn't it? Yeah, flowers? Yeah. yeah. Good to be alive. Good to be alive, he says. So if you ever want any flowers, and there, come and support Alex, keep him alive and buy some flowers, whether it's Mother's Day, Easter or whatever. Who give a shit what day it is. Who Every give? Day Every day is beautiful. Cheers. Top man. Alex, all the best, buddy. Yeah, Cheers. He's been in the flower game many, many years. He has. And here is my old hairdresser. <laughs> He's doing a haircut. <laughs> All right, just a quick bit in through the market, so I walk to the back. People get camera shy. They do. They do. People don't want to be on the film. They don't. They want to keep their private lives private. <laughs> Busy on here. All your food stores, fish and chips. You can get fish and chips. It used to be three pound fifty, didn't it? Fish and chips, and it's pretty good from there. It's loads of food. I smell mushy peas. Okay, <laughs> so mate, where was that? Oi, oi, Kingo, did you hear that? I must, I must be summoned. How are you, buddy? How you all right? How you doing? How you doing? All right, this guy is head of the Gamekeeper Society in Great Britain. Yep. There is nothing he don't know about birds. Yep. Top man, you all right? Well, I, when I worked in the Tudor Hall for 10 years, I would have said I was the same. I knew a bit about birds. A bit about birds then. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, that is. I'll come back in a sec. I'll, I'll just finish up there. Good to see you, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> that was good on the market. Cheers. Cheers. And if you need some clubber, you can always come to Vintage Row. Right on the back here, you've got all kinds of vintage clothes. Right? You want denim jackets? That's all there. You want some capper, track seat bottoms? <laughs> Dungarees, or some sexy looking shirts. Right. Sorry, man, how are you, buddy? You good? Come and see that man on the vintage row, the back of the market. And if you want Himalayan treasures, you don't have to go all the way to India. No, you can come here on this little market store right here. How are you doing, buddy? All right, young lady's not in. But they are, look, they are Himalayan products. You all right? And I know they're Himalayan because I bought them in the Himalayan. I am wearing the Himalayan product. All the best. Cheers. Oh, wicked. It's a nice bit of banter. You all right, buddy? Guide dog. No worries. 
uh, along in the market. Right. Ah, I'm going to say hello to me, mate. But I've got to get back because my car, you know, it can only be parked there 10 minutes. And chill. <laughs> oh, God, man, I'm still really congested. I'm going to get tagged by the cow. The cattle. Look, cattle. Yeah, it's been a pounce. It's always whinging. Always whinging. Always hustling. Always up to something. Ain't you, cattle? Anyway, I hope you like this little vlog. I apologise for keeping the vlog short. I ran out of things to go and do. I had other things in my mind that I thought I'd be bringing you. Today is Saturday, Easter Saturday. So I guess Easter, uh, there were a few small events that I thought about going, little egg hunts and that, but I just wanted to, uh, to really go to Norwich because that's where the main amount of action was. So I hope you like what I caught today for Easter Saturday. I'll probably go and see if I can actually find something more interesting tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, I'll see, I looked on the internet, I actually did go and look to see what was going on. There weren't a lot today. Most of the places, stuff had taken place tomorrow or next week. What do you want? And he's hassling, look. He wants a bit of loving, don't you? Cattle want some cuddling, don't you? Nestled in. Oh, man. So it's wicked. I've got a wicked bit of sunshine, a little bit of cloud. Uh, forecast says rain for the next week. So I'm literally... Oh man, gearing myself up. I need this congestion to go. This snivels in my nose. And it's like, oh man, what is it? It's, it's just proper. Oh man, it's like having a cold in England. Apparently, the, the sniffles in the chest. A lot of people have had chesty coughs for quite some time, uh, as I was told yesterday at my um, at my math steel birthday luncheon, which was really good. I really enjoyed it. And it's just great because catching up with people that I haven't seen for a while. And it is, it's nice. I actually like the fact that I can go off and travel and, and keep coming back to, to my own town around the countryside. It's, it's the best of both worlds, really. That, that's how I'm looking at it. So, oh man, with that, I may have enjoyed the sun. And I do apologise for the short vlogs. I know, you know that'd be better if they were a lot longer, more of an interest. Um, I, caught, I caught a few interesting things today. Uh, and I hope you liked my missing chapter of the bible little story i hope you enjoyed that could be true you know a lot of truth in that weren't just weren't just messing about <laughs> leonardo da vinci i think that's the guy he drew helicopters right is that the guy um back in the day of rome when the pope was about started drawing helicopters and all kinds of things now where did he get that info from did did he travel back from time what well, what well, i don't know i'm not going to run on you just make up as much of that as you like can't you of course you can. So, guys, cheers. And I apologise a bit early. I, I have got on the wine. There's about three bottles of wine in the, in the fridge right now. But this is still quite... Oh, I've got the boat race. Women are going first. The, Nash, the boat race, which is still held every year, apparently, on the Thames. Now, when I had the news on this morning, I did see one of the girls being interviewed, and she was a little bit concerned in the amount of um, E. coli. In the River Thames. <laughs> you, you, if you go in the River Thames, you, that's you. you you're basically, uh, you're never going to be the same again, especially if you swallow some of that water. Uh, you might grow five legs and all sorts of free heads and stuff like that if you go in the Thames. It, it's, it's, oh, mate, the Thames has had a, a terrible history with pollution. Let's put it that way. Yet the best rowers in the country have to still do that row down the Thames. So that'd be quite in, pretty interesting. I think that's happening as I speak. I'm sitting out and I'm getting a bit of well-deserved sun, which I believe is the only bit of sun we're getting. The rest of the week is rain, according to everybody but me. I think it's just going to be a bit cloudy. I'm, I'm, I'm wishful thinking. So, guys, cheers. I hope you have enjoyed this little vlog. Mm. It's a bit late in the day for a cappuccino, but it is what it is. Until next time, au revoir.